Now, our show recorded just before the Arsenal versus Manchester United game. However, we got some brilliant fixtures to talk about this FA Cup weekend. Giant killing games, winners, champions. Yeah. We got it all. So let me introduce you to our panel. Great panel we got here. Representing Barnet, Matthew. <laughs> we got Felicia, the Chelsea fan. <laughs> representing, representing West Ham, we got Katie. First time ever on The Real Football Fan Show, a fan from Accrington Stanley. Yeah. Give it up for Bia! Yeah. Yeah. See these Premier League guys, they're so harsh, aren't they? Who are you? Who are you? Now, we're going to start off with Matthew, the Barnet fan. Massive game for you guys. You're the lowest team left in the competition. And you've got a local derby against Brentford. All right, I know you would have loved to have got an Arsenal or a Tottenham or Chelsea or whatever, but this is still a massive game for you guys, and it would be great to see your new ground, a high full. Yeah, of course. I mean, who would have gave us a chance against Sheffield United? I know they made 10, 11 changes, but you can only beat who's in front of you. And I'm looking forward to Monday night against the fake bees. Brilliant. Now, Felicia, um, sort of at the opposite end of a, you know, when it comes to a team like Barnet, Chelsea, the FA Cup holders, you won it. Um, it'd be great to try and win it again, wouldn't it? Amazing for us to try and win it again. Um, depends which team really turns up. I, I fell off my... I almost fell off my seat in shock when I saw Morata score a double. So, we'll <laughs> see. Depends on our strikers. <laughs> West Ham United. Now, for me, surely West Ham should be prioritising something like this. You're not going to go down this season. No. You're not going to win the league. No. You're going to be comfortable <laughs> about mid-table. Yeah. You've got a good team. You've got to go for this, haven't you? 100%. I mean, in my whole lifetime, I've never seen us win anything. Um, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, you know, we had heartbreak in 2006 mm. against Liverpool. Um, it went from being the best of our life to one of the worst. But let's not get too depressed. But um, 100%, we need to go all out. I don't really care about the league. Um, you know, mid-table, I don't... I, to be honest, it means that much to me. I would be happy to be like a Wigan and be relegated. And go and, down? Yeah. Peter, Accrington Stanley. Give it up for Accrington Stanley! Yeah. 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 Ignore them glory hunters, right? <laughs> Accrington <laughs> Stanley. <laughs> Plastic fans. <laughs> Plastic fans. <laughs> Accrington Stanley versus Derby. What a great game. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think Accrington's in with a good chance. Um, playing. Playing quite quite well this season as well. Mm. And Accurate and Stanley, um, the history of Accurate and Stanley, one of the first clubs, was it the first club ever to go bust? <laughs> and then re <laughs> no, no, it's facts. I think and, so. and then reborn again, weren't yeah. they? Reborn again. This would be incredible if you could, yeah. you know, pull off a giant killing in this game. And it's quite possible because you've been playing well in this competition, haven't you? Yeah, quite well. Uh, quite well of recent as well, both in the league on and off. But, yeah, especially in, in the other cup, as, mm. as you quite rightly say. Let's run through the panel and get their predictions. Um, we're going to start off with you, Matthew. Barnet taking on Brentford on Monday night. Big game. Give me your prediction. 1-0 to the Bees. 1-0? Which Bees? Which Bees, yeah. Which Bees? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think we can nick it. I'm going to say 1-0 Barnet. 1-0 Barnet. That'd be a real giant killing, that would be. Oh, you uh, did there. <laughs> Chelsea versus Sheffield Wednesday. 2-0. 2 0 to Chelsea. Yeah. Okay. West Ham. Am. We'll concede. Yeah. But three one. Same as the league. Three one. Yeah. Beat Wimbledon. Yeah. Sure. Up. Yeah. And do you think you can go all the way? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be confident. I'll regret right? this when we get knocked out. But yeah, yeah. And finally, Accrington Stanley versus Derby. What do you reckon? I reckon Stanley 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one to Stanley? Yeah. Ooh, so listen, some bold predictions there. What do you guys think? I'd love to hear your predictions. Let us know. And don't forget to use the hashtag, the real FFS. Now it's time for my favourite part of the show. This is the fan battle. And we've got a hot rivalry for you today. 
It's the Tyna Weir Derby, Newcastle versus Sunderland. <laughs> right. You guys know the rules. I gave you the rules earlier. This is serious times now. You can diss the other club, keep it clean ish, <laughs> right? But represent your club. Now, we did a toss earlier. Dan, you won the toss. You elected for Matty to go first. On my whistle, Matty. What are you even doing here, man? I'm looking around, I see Chelsea, Spurs, Man U. I mean, there's nothing fan over there, but they're still in the cup. <laughs> You've got knocked out of Wolves, for? I mean, but, but, but six in a row, you're going to see we win six derbies in a row. But, but, but four years later, you're two divisions below. <laughs> We're talking about the here and now, the day to day. We're playing Liverpool, you're playing Scunthorpe away. <laughs> just, just last week, our first team played your under 20... No, other way around. Oh. You, your first team played our under 21s and it took you 50 minutes to still score a goal. It was like the new episode of Home Alone, Kids <laughs> Against Men. <laughs> but at least we did get to see you cry on Netflix. <laughs> we saw you crying on Netflix, crying on Netflix. <laughs> we saw you crying on Netflix. <laughs> they ain't holding back today, are they? Oh, right. Time for you to reply, Dan. Are you ready? On my whistle. So, the last few years, we've been bad, really bad. But in the last nine games that we've played, you still haven't managed to beat us once, including us. <laughs> including us walloping you six times in a row. <laughs> He's always cry about Mike Ashley, but you don't even know how to protest properly. You just... <laughs> you just, you just, you just run around, just punch horses, you stand outside sports <laughs> stand. Around. He's banging on about this Netflix thing, but, like, every single Newcastle fan's watched it, because Newcastle fans are more obsessed with Sunderland than they are with Newcastle. <laughs> there was even Newcastle fans changing the seats in the stadium alike. So... He's <laughs> 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 uh, taking the mick when we had the kids', uh, kids tickets £1 against Luton, but the money we made from that was probably more money than Newcastle are going to get in the summer anyway. <laughs> Still after 10 years, Mike Lowen is still your record signing, but it seems that the... <laughs> but it seems that the only record signing that Mike actually is interested in is HMV. So... Oh. Wow. <laughs> I hate judging this, man. I hate judging these things because it's so tough. Who says Matty? Yeah. Who says Dan? Yeah. It's quite conclusive. The winner is Dan! Yeah.